Hi, so my name is Marius Schmalitz. Uh, I was invited by Dermot to talk a little bit, to share some, some thoughts about the uh, about, uh, process. Um, and so I'm, I'm really happy that I can meet you at this uh, moment. Uh, so maybe, maybe I, will, I will say something uh, about uh, myself. Okay, so in the past I uh, worked for, uh, for the VC fund. Uh, I was responsible for the investments, for monitoring all the investments, for, um, uh, for the structuring. One of my companies I choose, Melita Rozwawska, it's, it's maybe, maybe you read in newspapers about this company. So this company, uh, when I came to the fund, this company was, uh, was about to be liquidated, so it was about to be closed. Was doing completely different than what he's doing right now. I came to this company. Uh, the company didn't have any, uh, any revenues, profits, forget about profits. So uh, right now, after uh, so it was March, and uh, next year, uh, performa performa revenues were had had uh, value of 200 million uh, zlotys. So like like from. 18 months or maybe a little more. Yes, the, the company uh, had like 250 million uh, lots of revenues. I, mean, I just tell that this company is, uh, we, we just copied the business model from Germany. Uh, so it's a dealer of investment gold. So coins, bars, and so on and so on. It's selling on, um, on internet. So it's typical new commerce, but it grew very, very quickly. Uh, in the past, I also was uh, CEO of a uh, public company, I mean, main market, not a new, new connect. I was hired by, um, uh, by MCI at that time, very important, and I think the, uh, the biggest venture capital fund. Right now it is also, I mean, it's also working, but it's, it's one of many. But at the time, it was like, like a few funds in Poland. They hired me to, to coordinate IP, IPO of this company. Later, I was uh, responsible for corporate uh, uh, venture, mergers and acquisitions, and uh, I also uh, started to use first EU financing. It was uh, 2006 or 2007 when we, when we applied for first money from EU. Uh, earlier, I worked for a few investment boutiques, Again, advisory for uh, public market and uh, non-public market companies. Right now I run private equity consulting, it's advisory business. You can, uh, maybe some of you know me because of my blog. You can find information on uh, how to deal with, uh, with investors or how to get investments, uh, investors uh, to your company. It's, I don't want to say that it's the best, but one of the best uh, places you can find information about uh, uh, venture capital investing. Um, so, uh, I work with young uh, companies, so venture capital is about young companies, it's like from seed to till early, um, early expansion. Usually, what I do uh, with young companies uh, needs uh, need, uh, so I, I help uh, entrepreneurs to understand what they are really doing. So I'm preparing the company for investment. Second, I'm preparing, uh, I help them with uh, investment materials. Third, I help them with uh, prepare them for meetings with investors. So I'm telling them what to, what to say, what not to say. At least at the beginning. And you know, I'm helping also with doing negotiations. Like investor, uh, uh, entrepreneur gets uh, the term sheet, and so it's like like a uh, like a first, let's say, contract. You can always uh, get my advice. Okay, uh, so I, I will talk a little about three mistakes. What uh, entrepreneurs are uh, doing. So, uh, first of all, this entrepreneurs are not preparing for uh, investment process. Second, talking to only one VC. So it was these mistakes you you did. 
So I don't know I should talk about that. <laughs> the third is the do-it-yourself approach. So, so right now I'll tell you a bit more about each of these issues. So lack of preparation. When you start uh, looking for investor, prepare yourself, prepare, first of all, prepare uh, investment materials. So what you have to do, you have to have investment teaser, you have to, which is like short, uh, uh, short description of your company. You have there some, some very basic uh, information like uh, what you really do, what is your market, how big is your market, um, what is the competition? It's not only a competition like exactly the same company, exactly the same product, but also substitutes. Substitutes. Then uh, you can you have to uh, present uh, yourself. So team founders is the most important. Also, um, like you see that before, uh, so um, business angel invested really in the people. Like, like it was not that he invested in the project, maybe a little in the project, but he invested in the people. He knew that they are going to uh, deliver what they promise. So it was really the, the, the answer for the question, or the one question. He invested in the, a little in the product, but first of all, he invested in, a, in, in, this, in, this, in this team of, of, of people. Um, uh, and at the beginning, at, at last thing that's supposed to be in, in your in, uh, in the teaser, you should put some uh, forecasts, so some some numbers, some uh, non-financial parameters, some to show how we are going to grow. And of course, we have to grow like this. Uh, you have to say also how much money do you need, and but nothing else. Don't say how much we are going to give your company. I mean, how many shares, so on, so on. No, this is not important. You want, investor wants to know for the beginning. What, uh, what is the project and what is the project about? Uh, next, what you need if you are successful, if, you, if this bait works, so if you have a very good teaser and the uh, investor is, uh, is, uh, is so happy that uh, decides, uh, curious uh, first of all, and, this, and uh, invites you for the meeting, you need to have a presentation. It's, it's, Presentation is during the first meeting. It's not really the most important thing you should have. You are the most important person. Like CEO, maybe someone else, because I also think that um, uh, fundraising process should be raised, uh, should be uh, uh, conducted by, by the CEO, or maybe uh, one more person. Just two persons, one person is, is probably the best option. So during this meeting, you should prepare your story, you should know what to say. Sometimes we have 20 minutes, sometimes we have 30 minutes. And if you say something what is not interested for uh, the investor, it's just forget it. Just he's, the next, next project is waiting, so they don't care. They don't care, so you have to be well prepared. Your presentation should be short and just should help you for the, uh, for the convincing, presenting, convincing the investor, presenting the, uh, your project. And the last, when you are really, really, uh, uh, so when the investor is really curious about your project, he wants to know more. He wants to know how you are going to realize your project. So when you, when you want to, uh, so he wants to know the business model, so he wants to know how or where money coming from, he wants to know how we are going to spend money, and he wants to know how we are going to grow. So, uh, in this financial model, financial model, it's, it's just Excel, so just, it's, it's financial model, business model, but it's not the same. Financial model is an Excel, and in this Excel, you should show business model. And, of course, this uh, uh, growing numbers. Uh, then you should be prepared also for uh, due diligence. So when investor is, uh, uh, is is interested, you should have all materials regarding your market, regarding your uh, regarding your customers, so on, so on. So just be prepared. Just know that the investor will ask you some more questions. Some 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 uh, he would like to know some some more details. Business plan. I'm, uh, I never read any business plan. You know, I I just think it's. The stupidest thing, just working on the business plan. Just if you need the business plan, just keep it for yourself because you need to have a business plan to grow your company. 
but I, I'm, I'm saying that you don't spend time preparing business plan, you know, the first page, um, with the index, uh, last page, whatever, you know, this, this form. No, just, just forget about it. It's better to use uh, financial model uh, as, a, as a business plan. Just grow this way. There are my, you can put there milestones. milestones. You, you, can, you can show how you're going to grow quarter by month by month or quarter by quarter. And, uh, you know, uh, at the end I, I said again that uh, CEO should run a, Investment process, never advisor. Sometimes I had the clients, I mean, I said I had the entrepreneurs that are coming with with uh, advisor. It was so, so stupid. Never. Just learn how to do, uh, how to look for money yourself, how to prepare yourself, I mean, how to, how to present the company to the investor. Because uh, investor is going to invest in you, not in advisor. Advisor is, you know, coming and uh, coming to your company and uh, we will we'll be somewhere, you know, like maybe close, maybe not, but you are going to run your company. And investor is not interested in advisor. You have to learn about investment, you have to learn how to get investor or how to get to investor. Uh, I don't know, I should skip the slide or not. <laughs> yes, I think it's the biggest mistake. That, uh, <coughs> When uh, entrepreneurs get you know, interest from one, one party, from one VC, it, VC, I'm saying it's like uh, um, uh, business angel, uh, venture capital fund, or any other you know, party that invests money. So it's always VC. Uh, so when, uh, when it's so investor, I mean the entrepreneur, when they get you know interest of the of the uh, of the investor, is so happy that he is just stopping and thinking that uh, this is the best investor. He's thinking he he thinks that it's going to be perfect investition. Not everything should be really really good. And uh, what can happen? Can happen really. Let's say there are two scenarios can 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 happen. So first scenario is that, I mean the bad one, really bad one, so we are not going to get, um, uh, so I mean the venture VC walks away from investment. If it happens after two months, it's okay. If it happens, you know, like three months, it's still, but sometimes it happens after six months, nine months. If you don't approach other investors, you are screwed, really. You, 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 are, you have no chance, you have to start the process from the beginning. And you just, sometimes you have money, sometimes you don't have money. You just screwed. Um, second scenario is that investor is interested in the company and wants to get, wants to, wants to close this investment. He is really happy and wants to sign with you. And this is another problem. If the investor is not stupid, he is not your, the investor is the entrepreneur also. He knows that he, you are talking only with him. He knows that you are not going anywhere else. And so he's going to give you such terms that would be good for you, uh, good for him, not for you. So we are getting screwed. I don't know which one, which, which situation is it's the worst, the first one or the second one. Uh, because if you sign an uh, agreement with the really bad terms, it would be sometimes very difficult to get new funds in the, in the future. It would be difficult also to uh, 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 sometimes talk to investor because you sometimes like like listening uh, of investor is written into some agreements, and this is also I see really bad. As an investor, I, I just never wanted to you know like uh, uh, have a rights. Uh, allowing me to, to telling uh, the uh, entrepreneur what to do because I think it's wrong. It's, it's, I'm, I'm not so good to know what, what he's doing. It's, it's, it's really stupid. So uh, avoid no shop. No shop, do you know? This is like, like a close. Uh, Darwin told me to, to avoid some special <laughs> wording, but I just tell about no shop. So investors usually when they start, they want uh, uh, they want you just uh, negotiating with with them. 
So the best idea is, is, is it's, it's, contact, it's contacting so many NBC as possible and not signing this no shop uh, clause. Um, so just just uh, the best the best idea is to, for example, have like five four funds and negotiating with them at the same time. This is very very good. Uh, also, be patient. Do not rush. Why? Because investor again is going to steal. He's going to see. He's going to talk, talk to you. He's going to be sometimes friendly. You know, I'm, I'm good with that. You know, sometimes I was getting information about the found, about the entrepreneur. They didn't want. They, they never told me. You know, like in, they never would tell me in, in normal condition. So I, I knew this invest. I knew the uh, entrepreneur, and I knew that he he doesn't have the money. I know that I got good terms. I just have to wait. Uh, I, I tell you that sometimes you know it's, it's the problem that investor likes the project but doesn't want to reinvest right now. He waits. Doesn't. This is the worst also. You know, state like this can last like a year. So it's, it's, it's also so. This is the reason why why you should approach as many VCs as possible. And uh, never get excited. Some very often I talk to the brothers and they're saying, "Whoa, yes, I just I found investor. He is really interested. For sure, we are going to close the deal." No, I, I tell you that in most cases we are not going to uh, sign an agreement. So don't get excited. If you have one investor, just go ahead and look for another. Just look for another. Do it yourself approach. Uh, so when you go to uh, a VC, you should know that he is smarter than you. I mean, not smarter that. I mean, in, in this, in raising money, he's smarter than you. He has better lawyers. He knows how to uh, approach you, how to talk to you. He knows many many things uh, that you don't know. What you cannot use. So uh, always look for advisors. Uh, I, maybe people like me, or ask other uh, entrepreneurs that that already got money or that are mm -hmm. successful. Read a lot. So this is important. But get some get some help. Get some support. Maybe maybe from from other people. Do some networking. But learn and get some coach coaches maybe. Just don't do it yourself. Uh, if you if you go to the if you have if you got the term sheet, go to the lawyer. But again, don't go to the divorce lawyer. This is really bad. He's not going to help you. Just don't go to divorce lawyers. No, just go to the specialist. You are going to risk a lot. You are going to sign with the investor. You are going to have anti-competition clause and many many other clauses that going that they're going to be that go that that. that will keep you with company. So if something goes wrong and company will, is, uh, will exist in the future, so you will not be able to leave the company. Sometimes it can be like four years, five years. Company will be like dying, but you will have to stay with company. Usually it's, it's always a dispute with investor, so you, you, you are screwed. But so read, read everything, prepare yourself. Otherwise, it's uh, like five years of your life can be, uh, you know, like lost. Uh, so two, two, two examples, like uh, there are two very, quite often, quite often used clauses. You cannot avoid them, but you can always uh, sign them uh, in special way. Uh, I mean, uh, to change them in, in some way. So it's uh, liquidity preference. It, it says that so the investor is getting first money, and you are getting, you know, the rest of the money from the deal when you when you exit when you sell your company. And uh, in some cases, was like maybe you write also in in, 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 in you know in economic or whatever financial press or, or tech crunch that, that sometimes you no know, investor is getting money but not founders. It is possible with successful uh, exit. But uh, founders get get just little money. It was you, you, you can check it. It's many many like, cases like this. 
another problem uh, that you can lose your company. <laughs> Sometimes you will get you know very high valuation, and investor uh, agrees for this high valuation, but uh, that's going to be in your investment agreement term sheet. Very uh, very difficult to fulfill uh, milestones. If you don't fulfill them, he's going is going to back your shares or some of your shares because he's saying that the valuation was too high. So you have to you have to be very 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 careful. You don't, don't think about only um, um, about uh, getting investor in terms of getting the uh, the best price. I would say so. You are, sometimes people are very happy that oh I got one million and I got and I gave away only twenty five percent of my company. True. It's possible, but if you have very, uh, very bad causes uh, in your, your term sheet, you can be screwed because uh, within a year, the situation can change. So your valuation will be uh, uh, um, revalued, and you will get, for example, you will have to return like 25% of your, of your, of your stock. Mm. Uh, if you don't, if you if you do not prepare correctly, it was it was the first uh, first mistake, and you if and you don't have any help, it will be problem sometimes with this recovering from mistakes. Uh, coming back to some investors is difficult. You know, if you if you went to an investor and uh, he and your and you you, you presented yourself as a completely unprepared um, or person who, who doesn't know you know what's going on uh, who, who doesn't understand how how a uh, venture or capital industry works he's going to remember that so don't think that you can come back like next month no sometimes it's six months so if you start to prepare uh, and ask for help you know ask for help because you know this uh, investors like we hear and we heard before they, they there's not too many of them. There's even in Poland, in Berlin, they know each other, but also there's, you know, like, I would say, you know, like, like limited list of investors. So if you uh, made mistakes with, like, when contacting some of them, you know, you just limited yourself. So uh, these are, these are, uh, I think, uh, the most important and critical uh, uh, mistakes. No batteries. Oh. Okay, so thanks very much for that, Morris. Uh, you talked an awful lot about the mistakes that people make, and I think that's very, very useful. If you we're back in with say MCI now. And if you were looking at your deal flow, what would the three things that you want to see that would excite you that would take that deal to the top of the pile? So what would the criteria be? I mean about the company, I mean. Okay. You know when when Dermot uh, called me and asked me for uh, to, to, to come here, he asked me. I asked about what we are, what we are going to talk about, and he said about funding. I said what? No funding. This is what you are uh, what you are expert in. I said ah funding. I understand, but this question is quite clear. But uh, sometimes it's a problem. Uh, so this is the question really. What is important uh, in the project? I would say. What is Three, three things that, that are most important in the project. You know, uh, okay, in venture capital investments and venture capital investments is not the same like investments in higher uh, stages of development. So at the beginning, you know, like like when uh, venture capital, according to definition, it's like invest, investments from seed, like like seed to early uh, early expansion. So the best, uh, so when when the, People with uh, project like I, uh, when 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 some people approaching me were approaching me with the project like, like on the seed, um, 
development stage, the most important thing is team. Team, so the founders. So this is like, because they are coming some, with some idea, they have something on the paper, they, but so the most important is, is, is the, you know, like a team. Not even idea. I would say idea comes, comes second. Then uh, when, when you're talking about seed, it's really it's really an idea, you know. So uh, first I, I just look at the, um, the founders, I see do they uh, are they experienced or are they you know maybe they they, they work on a similar project and so on and so on. Then I look at the project and and um, so the idea it's uh, I, I I like to look at the um, the more. Uh, at the market, so I, I'm, I'm trying to, to see uh, is it market for that. So like like Dermot said at the beginning, when you have idea, it's okay. Sometimes even you could get people interested in this idea, but the question is, you can make a business model of that. So uh, is it is it is it second is idea with business model? So the idea that you can get money from. So this is like like the most important thing, and of course, uh, I look at uh, um, uh, third thing is, is I think um, uh, competition, but competition on the market, the market, but this is not that uh, market uh, competition like like sometimes I'm asking uh, sometimes enterprises saying we don't have competition. No, you have competition. But you have like substitutes. You have other, other, other um, uh, substitute products. They can compete with your substitute systems and so on, and so on. So I have to look at the market. Is it possible that they're going to succeed? Because maybe there is already someone who is so strong or someone with uh, VC funding that is impossible to fight. Of course, you know if it's like uh, two strong companies, the third can 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 can, can make living also, but. You know, like um, if it's like the five companies, it's it's, it's really difficult. Uh, I remember online online exchange it's published in English, Cantori online offer. It was like very popular project. You know, like like every month I was getting you know similar project was coming to me exactly the same. So this is like for sure it's not going to work. Stand together. So, in terms of the actual like one pager, whenever you do assessments, how long do you spend? If you were in the MCI or if you were sitting working in the MC, the VC capacity, in terms of the deal flow, how much time would you spend? So, how quick? How much time does somebody have to be able to get that idea across to you? Going, this problem, this is the implications of it. We solve this for you to go, ah, I can see there's something there. How, how much time do you spend at that? Uh, maybe uh, again, I will tell you how, how uh, the day of average investment manager looks like. So he has to, uh, he has to look from time to time, some, uh, he has to look at this from time to time, some, some uh, teasers. Has to read. Has to, he has to attend for meetings. After that, has to decide the company should go further. So uh, some uh, some monitoring work, so on, so on. Uh, so it's 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 kind of you know like a busy person. So if you send uh, uh, very very bad documents, it's not going to. Uh, so it's, it's always going to take. Uh, so we are risking a lot, or um, for sure. Talking to, to talking to an investor would be would take a little longer. So you, you, you were asking me how long uh, I got, um, how how much time it uh, it took me to analyze uh, the company. Yes, to. So I'm somebody here in the audience, okay, and I'm going. I want to submit my idea to the VC. How much time do you spend looking at a project where you know nothing about the people or the project before? So email comes in through with attachment, here's our slide deck, 
How much time do you look at it initially? Okay. So first, if I uh, so first, I mean, the basic document is usually uh, this teaser. That should be the basic. No, no presentation, nothing. Just just teaser. If you have a very good prepared teaser, I'm getting that. I'm reading that. Um, sometimes uh, we we had some uh, some meetings and uh, myself and my team would just discuss about the project and we decide to to go further or not. So it's. Uh, so usually it took at least you know like a week, sometimes two. The first step only. Okay, but well, you open the email, you look at this teaser. Yes. Are you spending thirty seconds? Yes. Or a minute? Yes. And so they have a minute. Yes. In the teaser, yeah. to get across that there's a problem, they've come up with some secret sauce. Yes. But I, I don't call them right away. Because I'm busy, I have uh, many meetings, new investors. Uh, there is some restructuring. There is, uh, um, uh, there, is there, there are some some people coming, you know, like what, with for first meetings, second meetings, due diligence. So I even if it's nice, even if it's good, I'm just not going to call them right away. No, and no one is calling them right away. How much time do I need? You know, like is 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 this are is well prepared. I see that there is a good investment, and I, I can uh, you know try to set up meeting you know like right away, but probably within a week at least. If it's a bad description, I the the point is this: that it's about the teaser. So if you're writing a teaser and submitting it, somebody is going to look at this for thirty seconds or a minute maximum, and in that time, if they don't see that there's a business. If they don't see that there's actually a problem that you're solving, it's just next, next, next. So you don't expect to get anything. So that's why, you know, at the start we say to you about how you present yourself, how you present your company. You have a very, very short period of time to do that. And it's important that you get that across. So uh, we're going to have a bit of a, a little panel discussion.